Hi, in this video, we're going to be comparing these two scales. They're both actually by the same brand. The brand is Etex City. So let's start with my old scale, which is this one here. You can see it's really, really dirty. This is an Etex City scale. It's just a regular scale. You can measure your weight in kilograms or pounds, and you can change it by pressing this button here. It does come with the batteries. It uses two AAA batteries. Uh, the batteries I have in here are not the original batteries uh, because I've had this for, I think it's been a few years now, um, maybe even two years. The scale is awesome. Uh, I've used it quite a bit. I've moved it around. Very heavy duty, very good product, quality old school scale. It works and it's a warrior, okay? So this thing, I mean, look how dirty it is, right? This is my scale that I have used on a daily basis for a long time. Even the little bottom feet are still in pretty good shape. And I've drugged this from bathroom to bathroom. I've moved it around quite a bit. Solid scale. I also like the clear gloss. I prefer the look of this scale over the newer Etex City scale. The newer Etex City scale uh, is smaller. Look at the size difference. So it is smaller, okay. Um, also, I feel like it's lighter. It's a little bit lighter in weight. So I don't know, I can't speak to the durability. Uh, it does come with the batteries as well, three AAA batteries. But if my old Etex City scale is any indication of durability, uh, then I expect this one to last a long time as well. The key difference between this scale and my other old Etex City scale is that this one, when you stand on it, it tells you your weight here and it transmits your weight and other key metrics such as body fat percentage to your phone via Bluetooth to an app that you download. And in this video, we're gonna do a test. Uh, I'm gonna weigh myself on both scales so we can see the difference. And then we're going to check out what my body fat percentage is uh, on the app so you can see it. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. One thing I really like about my old scales, I know it's reliable. Like if I weigh myself every morning, I can rely on that scale and it works, it works. I expect the same from this though. So let's go ahead and do a test and see if I weigh the same amount on both scales. I probably won't, but it'll be a fun test anyways. We have my old Etex City scale on the left and we have the new one that has the body fat percentage features uh, and other things as well. So let's go ahead and try the old one first. The display is harder to read on this one in the camera, but you can see it there, 160.4. Pretty quick, right? Very quick, works great. Um, again, I've had it for almost two years, maybe even two years now. Let's try the new one now. You do have to stand on this one longer because you want to transmit everything to the, to the phone. So 161.4, transmitting, and it's done. And here we go, here's my body fat percentage on the app, 13.5%, there's my BMI. So it's not perfect. I, I've done this a couple times. One time it said 13.4, one time it said 13.7, one time it said 13.8. So it's not perfect. It's not gonna be you know, perfect, but it's better than nothing because you can look for trends. You can watch it you know, over time. You know, is your body fat percentage going down, uh, et cetera. So there's my BMR, my body, bone mass, et cetera. So pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So two different scales. Uh, for two different audiences, old school scale, works great, reliable, I've had it for a long time. Newer, fancier scale, tells you your body fat percentage, does require an app, it sends the information via Bluetooth to the app. Which one is better? I don't know, I like both. I know this one's reliable, right? That's the, so I know that this is reliable. I know that if I weigh myself every morning and I'm losing weight, I'll be able to tell with this scale. This one's newer, I haven't had it that long, so I don't know how reliable it's gonna be. I'm assuming it's gonna be reliable. Um, but I, I do love the body fat percentage feature. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably use both and, and then just see, uh, you know, how, how things go. But yeah, I like them both. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.